Yes! Good afternoon! Good afternoon, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world, good evening. Who cares what time it is? What we care about is breaking news. Breaking news that Spurs have reached an agreement in terms of monetary value with Genoa for Radu Dragusin. Now, it's not what we thought it was going to be. There's been a bit of a curveball in the last sort of 12 to 10 hours, hasn't there? Um, Jed Spence's name is now firmly in the mix. And it looks like, not confirmed yet, looks like Jed Spence is going to be part of the deal that takes Radu Dragusin to White Hart Lane. And it looks like... Jed Spence will be going on loan for six months to Genoa. Now, I don't think any of us saw this coming, but whatever it takes to get this deal over the line, let's get this deal over the line. It's taking ages. Get it done. Get him in today. Let's get the here we go today. Get him at the training ground tomorrow, training with the Spurs players, ready to slot into that back four against Man United at Old Trafford for a big game in the Premier League. It is a big game if you want to keep on the coattails of the teams above you. And at the moment, Mickey van der Ven hasn't played for three months. Davis has got a hamstring injury. Romero's out. So we need a Dragusin in for that game. And then obviously, you've got a game after that. Man City at home in the FA Cup. So let's have a look at what happened to bring all this dragoosing news to a head. Now, for the last 24, 48 hours, there has been strong links with Napoli. Strong links with Bayern Munich. But according to the likes of Romano and the Ornsteins, no bid has actually come officially from either of those two clubs. Apparently, Bayern Munich have been monitoring it. Bayern Munich have also been monitoring the likes of Danso, from what I'm led to believe, like Bade, they've been monitoring. Uh, sorry, Kevin Danso, like Bade, they've been monitoring Eric Dyer as a backup option for the defensive midfield role as well. So Bayern Munich at the moment, monitoring without putting in a bid. Napoli apparently the same. Now Spurs hadn't had a bid in all this time. Then, in the last 24 hours, we have bid for Radu Dragusin. And it looks like we finally come to an agreement with them. So let's have a look at the timeline of what has actually happened to get Radu Dragusin to Tottenham Hotspur. Now, it's not quite a here we go yet. I don't want to be that clickbait. So here we go. They're still in talks, but let's get to it, shall we? So here is what happened 12 hours ago. So about 11 p.m. UK time last night. Fabrizio Romano said that Tottenham keep working on the Radu Dragusin deal. The club is still confident to make it happen. No changes. Now, Romano has been saying this the whole way along. He said that there's no Napoli involved, no buying. It is going to be Tottenham Hotspur. Spurs want to close the deal as soon as possible. Not sure about that. It has been 10 or 11 days or whatever it is now. Negotiations at final stages. Key 24 hours ahead. He's also then ended this with FC Bayern have not sent any formal bid to Genoa for Dragusin so far. So that's key to note. When we're saying we've beaten Bayern Munich to a site at the moment, Spurs are the only club that have put in a concrete bid for Radu Dragusin. That was then followed up. Ignore the rest of this news. We'll come back to the Timo Werner thing in a minute. Ignore that. That was followed up this morning about... About 8 a.m. UK time, he's gone on to say Tottenham official proposal for Radu Dragusin has been sent to Genoa as expected. Now, he's gone on to say that this was, so, so there you go, finally an official proposal was sent. So very different to a verbal proposal, but the official proposal has been sent and it's a 25 million euro fixed fee with 5 million euro in add-ons. Now, this is where the twist comes. This is where I don't think any Spurs fan saw this coming, but it has happened. New exclusive detail, Jed Spence on loan to Genoa from Tottenham Hotspur. All parties are working to get the deal done and sealed now as Bayern have not sent bid yet. 
So at this stage, this was three hours ago. Bayern hadn't sent a bid. Jed Spence's name had been thrown in for the first time. That's not the end of it. That's not the end of it. Then, about half an hour after that, he said, exclusive. Genoa are now prepared to accept Jed Spence as part of the Radu Dragusin deal. So don't forget, that was 25 million euros, 5 million euros in add-ons, plus a loan move until the end of the season for Jed Spence. Negotiations continue today in order to get the Dragusin deal done with Spence included. So there, there we had it. In the space of three hours, it was Jed Spence has been offered and, and, and Genoa are happy with that. Genoa were happy with that. So 30 million euros all told with Jed Spence on loan until the end of the season. Then came out a little bit after that. Ignore this. This, this, this came up, by the way, Bayern Munich looking at Kevin Danso. So again, this is all part of the Dragusin thing. Said Bayern have added Kevin Danso to their centre-back shortlist as Radu Dragusin gets closer to Tottenham move after official bid sent today. So again, they're just exploring Dragusin and Danso with no official bids. Then he's said this one hour ago. So about 10.30, 10 a.m. UK time. Fabrizio said Tottenham and Genoa are locked in talks. Locked in talks to get Radu Dragusin deal done after official bid. So he's saying talks on payment terms and final details now. And then a couple of little egg timer emojis. So we haven't had any news as far as I'm aware since that. I'm just double checking that nothing's come out while we've been talking. Let's uh, let's refresh that. I don't think anything's been come out since we've been talking. Uh, that's the pins tweet. Ian Matson. No, no, no. So that's where we're at. So people, as I always say, you know my, my phrase, it's never dull at Tottenham Hotspur. Jed Spence now involved in the move to Genoa. And it looks like the deal could be done with 25 million euros plus 5 million euro add-ons. Now, this is where I'm going to ask all of you lovely people. What do you make of it? 25 million plus 5 million add-ons plus Jed Spence. Is Jed Spence the tipping point? Is this what's been holding it up? That they were saying, hey, we want this money. We want these add-ons. We also want to play going the other way. Does Jed Spence want to go to Genoa? Is it a good move? For Jed Spence to go to Genoa. It didn't work out for him at Leeds. Through injury. Through attitude. Can he get a more sustained. Successful period. Going out to Genoa. What does this mean. For Jed Spence's future. Clearly not really liked. By Ange Postacoglu. Are they going to put a buy option clause. An obligation to buy clause. All of these different questions. But. The silver lining for all of this. Surely, surely, surely. Jed Spence to Genoa plus 25 million, plus 5 million euros means that Spurs are going to get the centre-back they wanted. You can argue all day long about whether to Debo was the first choice. Jean-Claire to Debo. But Dragusin's been the one we've been in talks with for a long time now. Get him in. Get him ready. This is a good day if we can bolster those centre-back options. Not a backup. Get him in. Get him in that team. Make him, make him, make the others fight for their place in this team. Make all three centre-backs, Dragusin, Van and Romero, make them compete and fight. Let's not be that team where we've only got two. So there are so many positives to get this deal done. Now, can we get it done today? Are they aiming to try and get this done at the same time as Timo Werner? Now, in regards to Timo Werner, the news on him is as such. Timo Werner, we know, landed in the UK last night at about 7pm, quarter past seven. And he had the first part of his medical at Hotspur Way last night. He then stayed the night at Hotspur Way. We know that. And, it, and Romano said a few hours ago, Timo Werner on his way to complete the final part of his medical today at Hotspur Way to be a new Tottenham player. All documents are ready and set to be signed between Spurs and RB Leipzig. The buyout clause is £17 million. Euros. That's £14 million pounds roughly. 
Spurs today, good news, could have a new forward and a new centre-half with Man United away to come, Man City at home in the Cup and a battle for top four between now and the end of the season. Positive day at Spurs. Let me know your feelings. Come on, you Spurs. This is the sort of transfer we needed. This is the sort of movement we needed. First 10 days of the window. Get it done. Get these deals done. Get it over the line. And then we can look forward to what does the next the next 20 days of the window look like. The outgoings. Reguilon looks like he's going to go out. We know Spence is going to go to Genoa. Dyer possibly to buy a Munich or sport in Lisbon. Does Hoybier stay? Does he go? Brian Hill, they're talking about Fiorentina and Sevilla looking at Brian Hill. So what happens? Judson Sop Bell's going out alone. So this is all very exciting. Lots going on. I'll end it on this. Never a dull day at Spurs. Love the signings, hate the signings, mediocre signings. Players leaving that you don't want to leave. Players leaving that you want to leave. It doesn't matter. It's never a dull day at Spurs. Please smash the like button. Please subscribe. We'll be back at 5 p.m. tonight for the daily transfer update where hopefully these two deals will be done. See you then, people. As always, come on, you Spurs.